Hello everyone, my name is Andrea Bruno. I am from London Vintage Marketplace. I am also a bit nervous. Um, Jennifer Allwood invited me to do a paint finish of the month. Um, I don't know how I ended up here, but I am so very grateful and I guess that's why I'm really nervous too, because this is a big deal for me. Um, I have a shop in Westfield, Massachusetts and um, I'm not gonna be doing furniture. What I am going to be doing today is embellished books. And we'll be using paint and molds and um, stamps. And I will show you how to do all that. So th these are um, some embellished books that I did for Christmas. And also, these are ones that I just did. They're not, they weren't. Um, for Christmas or anything like that. But these were just because they have some sparkle and glitter and they were Christmassy like. So this is a really super fun project. Um, and all you really need for these is just some old hardcover books, which you can find um, if you have them laying around in the house or um, if you go to your local drift store or anything like that, you can get books for maybe two, three dollars, I don't know, and you can work on those. So I have these two. I'm gonna try to do two. Um, so as you can see, these are not books that I'm gonna be using, which you can still read once you've embellished them, so that's not a problem. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna flip the camera down, and uh, I'll talk as I go. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna put my glasses on. First thing, take off these covers. Um, you could save them or throw them out, it's up to you. And since Valentine's Day is close, I am going to do maybe some romantic books. So I am going to start off with um, the DIY paint, it's called Prairie Gray but you can choose your own color and just paint. And I probably will, probably, I will blend other colors into this just to kind of give it a special look. So it's not one, one solid color, but you can make it one color if you'd like and really with these books um the sky's the limit as far as what you can do with them so just think outside the box okay it's one inside we'll make sure you get the top right here and the spine some white on this one. Use a different brush. Just make sure you get it on there nice and even. Don't worry about it too much um, if the cover of the book, the color of it shows, because for this anyways, we're gonna be adding some other things so you won't be able to see the color underneath. And then do the back. So we've added several colors to one book. Right here, I think I wanna add a little bit more. I'm going to add some Bohemian Blue, maybe. And 
and just you can always use your hands too there are, that's kind of like a tool as well so I I'm I'm one of those people I like to add a lot of color to whatever it is that I'm doing so I'm just gonna add some a little bit more color to this and take a little bit of water here just to kind of spread it a little bit more so I want the book to be imperfectly perfect if that makes any sense it's kind of how I I do um, I don't want what I do to look perfect so this is pretty pretty easy just don't go out of your way to make it perfect and mission accomplished so I'm just doing well, you guys can see just doing the 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 other side so you see it's a little bit of dripping going on um, and I promise you it will look good in the end and Give me another color. I think I'm going to add a little bit of red. Just because red is a Valentine's Day color. Dip my brush in the water a little bit. Spread the paint out. Okay. So we're right now just pretty much playing. And there is no one particular way to do this you can mix you can use whatever colors you want you can um, paint the whole cover solid if you like it's all up to you I'm just kind of playing here I think I want to add some more pink I think the bohemian blue made it kind of dark. Okay. And on this side, I'm gonna add a little bit of red. Dip my brush in water. Kind of spread that. Let it drip a little bit more. And while this is kind of drying a little bit, I'm going to go on to this one. This one I think will keep it simple. Hopefully that doesn't fall. So this one's the one we just painted white, and these will look pretty because we're gonna put them um, together. So this one, what I want to do is use some stamping. I wanna use stamping on both of them. But these are IOD stamps, and um, you can use this with ink or with paint. I am going to use them with paint. See that so I'm going to use the pink right here so 
So I just applied a thin layer of paint on there. Now I'm going to put it on the book. And I'm just gonna gently place it on the book and then just kind of put a little bit of pressure and I don't know if you can see that. It's um, it's really pale, but it's pretty. And I am going to add some more of that. And add a little bit of red too this time. And I'm gonna add this one to the top. If you guys can see. Maybe I'll just do this. And again, put it gently down on the book and some light pressure. This one came out a little different because I added some red. And you can just keep going with this. Um, and keep adding as much as you want or as little as you want I think it'd be really pretty with lots of flowers actually I'll do the same on the back side and now for this one use white and I'm gonna use another IOD stamp it's called with kindness regard and let me the same thing and it's not gonna this is bigger than the book so the whole thing is not gonna fit on there. It's okay. And yeah, I used the same brush um, that I used on the other one. And I'm double dipping. It's okay. Okay. Put this down. Same thing. whole thing okay. again the same as the other one you put it down gently and just kind of put a little bit of pressure and another way to do this is um, say you painted your book whatever color you painted it uh, say you painted your book white and you want these words to come out white, kind of like rays, you would just put this onto your book with the paint wet. And it would, um, that would work too. Okay. See, so the words came out. I'm going to do the back. That's that. So that's that. So next is mold. Um, I'm going to use mold and I'm using creative paper clay, uh, which I found at one of the craft stores. And the molds are from IOD. Okay. So first you take the, the paper clay and just kind of warm it up in your hands a little bit. 
kind of like kneading bread. And just work from the middle out. And sometimes paper play is a little bit tricky, but you can also use um, hot glue from a hot glue gun on these. And it does the same thing. Just depends on what you choose to do or use rather. You want to make sure you go over the border right here so that you make sure you get the whole entire mold. So you want to go over a little bit. Okay. Make sure you make it nice and smooth. And this is going to go on the spine of the book. I like to put stuff on the spine or put something on the spine. Yeah. Except this one is not wanting to come out. This paper clay is really moist, so it's sticking a little bit more than it should. For this book right here, I want to put it on the spine and just like right in the middle like that. But I'm going to give it a second so it just hardens just a little bit and then we will glue it on. So now I want to make so much here. Now I'm going to make one for the smaller book. The spine of the smaller book. And I'm going to go for this one right here. I'm going to add a little bit of um, the cornstarch. Right here, so it doesn't stick. And all right, warm this up a little bit in my hands. And start from the middle again, like the other one. I probably Grabbed a little bit more clay that I needed here, but that's okay. my two molds for my the spines of my book now you can stop there as far as molds go or because these books will be together like this you can choose to add a mold in the front um, I've done that with books and maybe one in the back if you wanted to and 
Let's do one more for the front of this, maybe. Okay. So I'm going to choose this big one right here. All right, it's not perfect, but I think I like it this way. And that's gonna go on there. So next thing is, you can grab glue gun or E600 to glue the, the molds onto the book. Put this one aside. And the thing with the hot glue is it dry, it, it hardens quickly, so you kind of have to get it onto the book quickly. And I, I paint mine after I have them on the book because if you let these, if you let these dry, if you let the molds dry um, and then put them on, they're not they're not flexible and you can't bend them and you can't, they just, they, they get stiff. So that's why I paint them on here and I don't, no, wait. Okay, so that's, that's that one. And this one, and it's good that we're putting this on this book here because I can still see the words of the book, the title of the book on the spine there. It's running out of glue. Okay. And that one goes. This one right here. Now we're going to put the hot glue on that big piece. I just want to make sure my book is going the right way. And this one didn't come out um, as clean as it should have, meaning it's a little distorted, but that's okay because it's an old distress book. That's what we're going for. So I don't mind it this way. But if you're someone who likes perfection, then, you know, you don't have to, you just put it on there um, the way you like. It doesn't have to be this way. You can make it so yours is nice and neat, clean. Okay, so next step is we just paint the molds. We're almost done. Okay, so last steps is to seal the paint. And we're gonna use clear and dark wax um, DIY. Debbie's Design Diary. I don't, I don't, um, some people use brushes to wax. I tend to use rags. I don't know. I, f I feel like I can feel it that way. And I, I don't know. I need to feel it. So I'm just taking an old rag, dipping it into my clear wax. I'm just going over the book here. I'm 
do a little bit of dark. Just some drama. And you don't have to do the dark over the whole book. But it just kind of makes it look like an older book. An old vintage book. And the reason I put the clear wax on the top is um, sometimes if you start with the dark wax, it tends to be really dark, which I, you can wipe it back if you put clear wax over it. But if you put the clear wax on first, um, the dark wax doesn't, it's not too dark. I'm gonna finish up by waxing this book as well. Okay, so the last step um, with these books is that I'm going to add a little bit of gold wax, and this is gilding wax, and I'm just going to kind of put it on the edges. Not, I won't use a lot, just a little bit. Um, a drama you don't have to put gold if you don't want to um, I think these also come in silver just makes it a little bit more embellished and again there's a lot going on with this book but you can make it as plain and simple simple as you want or just keep adding so that's this right here one other thing I do want to add is maybe a little bit of rust. Um, so this is rust paste from our extravaganza. And not that books get rusty, but why not add something more to make it look a little bit different? You can just put it in certain spots and I would, and you just add this on, there's three different colors that go on one on top of the other. And I would just put it in certain areas. I probably, I wouldn't put it everywhere. So now that we added the brown rust, we're gonna add the, the orange. And you know, I started, I wanted these to be kind of like, um, sweet and pink and for Valentine's but it just turned into something else as is always the case with me never do what I set out to do it always comes out differently and that's okay sometimes it's a nice surprise the next one is um, more rust paste but it's yellow some of it down and more of it here and then I think it's a little too yellow so I'll add some more brown or orange too much yellow there so I'm gonna add some more of the orange okay and I would say the last thing is if you want to put them together like this 
grab scissors. So I have some twine and some pink tool and I thought, let's see what it looks like together. It might be cute. And that's it. The front, the back, and we have a little more twine. And that's it. So these are my Valentine's book. So, um, again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this. Um, I was a bit nervous. So this is, this is what came out and um, there are others and as I said, just think outside the box and just create it the way you want it to. This is just one example. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.